Hi everyone, this is once again SE2 Strats aka Training Special here again for another cast. Um, today I did not say hello everybody which I normally do, I thought that was a little repetitive. Well, anyway, today we have a match between Torch and Liquid TLO. Now, uh, I got this from the uh, GameReplays.org and it was rated very highly, a lot of people really liked the action. I have not seen this myself. It is from MLG Dallas, um, winner's bracket, uh, I believe round 3. So uh, yeah, hopefully we got a good game and uh, a lot of interesting stuff going on. Uh, TLO is always pretty pretty good to watch there and um, I, haven't, I haven't seen a Torch game before but uh, hopefully it's pretty good. I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about it, and hopefully there'll be a lot of good back and forth, um, <clears throat> just to uh, kind of give us a good game to watch here. Uh, TLO did spot Torch quite early with his Overlord, and I think he was able to make it so that he was not seen, so that Torch does not know where Liquid is, yet Liquid knows exactly where he is. Probably gonna check out here real quick and see what Torch is doing. Um, I let's see, let's see if he can see that. Uh, he can. He does see the barracks. He knows that he's going for this wall in, and I'm pretty sure at this point Torch sees him too. Yeah, he easily sees the Overlord. He knows what's going on, where Liquid is. Liquid is. He does see the wall in, so he is going for a quick 14 hatch there, even before his spawning pool. 14 hatch, uh, 14 pool. Uh, interesting, quick expand. We see the SCV coming out here for a quick scout. He does see this hatchery coming up and he is going to, going to come in here and kind of scout out the area. Oh, probably not. He probably just knows that he has a spawning pool coming up and that there's already a quick hatchery. Not too much else you need to know. There is a drone coming out for a quick scout and a marine that stopped it in its tracks. This overlord is going to run up the hill here. He's going to just kind of get out of the way of this marine. Before he's able to take him down. Uh, that is something important you should note when you are a Zerg. Make sure that you don't get your Overlord picked off very early because that will be a huge detriment to your uh, supply chain. We see uh, that Torch is going for a uh, factory pretty quick here. Some quick tech going on. He does not have a tech lab on his barracks so he's probably not going for quick tanks or anything like that. Uh, maybe going for a quick air attack. Actually, we see a queen coming up and a roach warren over on uh, liquid side here. It's about half done. And um, let's just check the income tab real quick. We see that liquid has 17 harvesters versus uh, torches 16. Oh, now he has 18. He, uh, this quick expansion should provide him with quite a few uh, more resources than... Uh, Torch will be able to get in this early game and it should help him out as long as uh, Torch does not go for a quick uh, rush in which I don't think he's going to do here. We are seeing these Zerglings move out here pretty quickly. Um, probably just to kind of scout the area and make sure that uh, Torch is not going for any quick expand and they're going to grab the Zelnaga which is key to prevent a quick rush. Um, he didn't see anything going on, too, not too much. So he is just kind of kind of scope out the area. He has these roaches kind of on the move out here. We do see an armory coming up by Torch over here. An armory and a starport. Oh, there is one Hellion here. Um, just some uh, quick uh, Hellion play. Uh, some good micro there. Just sniped off two Zerglings pretty easily. So a roach will be much more difficult for a Hellion to take down. So he is going to have to retreat. He's going to run right back up here, put up this wall. And we're going to see Liquid move out with this Overlord, maybe and try and snatch some units down a little bit. That was actually a good move by Torch. He let him in so that the wall was not taken down, and he's going to pick off these roaches one by one. But this is going to give Liquid some very valuable scouting information. He sees the factory with a tech lab, and he, is he going to see the armory? I don't know if he saw that armory, but if he did, that would give him great insight into this quick Thor as well as a starport with a medevac. He probably knows that that medevac is coming out. And I don't know if he saw that armory. If he did, then he knows that Thor is coming. He does have some creep, uh, some creep spine crawler, excuse me. 
Increase the sign creep creep tumors from the uh, first one. Anyway, he does have some spine crawlers coming up to protect this expo here. He has a few roaches. Uh, queen still still off running off one queen here, and this this main is completely oversaturated with min with workers mining minerals here. He's got to move some out. Um, oh, he is going to try and thwart this quick Thor drop, which he pretty much has. He, Torch really needs to get that guy away before that Medivac just blows up taking the Thor with it. That was a very good catch over there by uh, Liquid. He saw that Medivac and he probably saw the armory knowing the Thor was coming. He bunched up his guys over here to prevent a Thor drop which would have devastated his economy especially with if uh, he had the barrage which he probably doesn't have um, researched yet but I mean it, he could have sniped down a queen probably taking out an extractor maybe even a roach horn but um, that was a good counterattack by liquid there stopping that thor before it was able to get in there we see this overlord is still just scouting the area but this viking is going to take that down pretty handily here comes the medevac it's going to do this again the uh terran players love using these these cliffs in this map for this sort of uh just with rape, the, uh, the, the Zerg cannot effectively see up the cliff and uh, attack down Thors or tanks, anything that, that that's up here. It's, it's just really great cliff abuse for the uh, Terran players. They can easily drop a Thor or a tank, even some Marines, and snipe down an extractor. There was no extractor there, but it would have been good for him. Liquid's actually doing a pretty good job of keeping out this Thor, keeping off any sort of harassment that's possible. And he's going to see, I'm not sure what he's done with doing with this drone, probably just keeping control of the middle, trying to keep as much map control as possible. Ah, uh, runaway drone, yep, oh, is, he's going to chase down that drone? Oh, he's probably going to, no, I don't, I don't know what he's going to do there. But we do see an SCV moving out here for an expansion, and a Viking to, and a Hellion to catch any sort of a harassment that might come. Oh, I think I heard a drop. No, no, I guess I didn't. We see an Overseer here. He might have dropped a Changeling. I don't see it on the map, but uh, we do see the Thor is just hanging out here. And we see that he has loaded some tanks. He even see an Orbital Command, uh, or Command Center coming up, and Orbital Command. Oh, right here, he has another Command Center for his uh, natural expansion. We see a Nidus coming out, and here are all of these roaches going right into this main mineral line, focusing down this refinery. I think he should try to take out as many workers as he could have, but he didn't. He's going to easily take out this Thor here. This tank, I would imagine, probably. And these uh, roaches are really just going to town here, but uh, and here comes even a queen to drop the creep tumors. Insult to injury, and it was able to finish. He is you know, going to need to pretty much waste a scanner sweep just to take out that creep tumor. That was a great move by Liquid that he was able to stop. Um, he was able to do quite a bit of damage actually. And he did lay this creep tumor which will allow him to knight us in later on if he so pleases. As long as it does not get taken out. He did take out that Thor and a tank and he escaped with most of his forces. You see this Hellion trying to escape here. We see the roaches breaking down these rocks for uh, the gold expansion. This queen is just so slow off the creep here, and these overlords are going to try and speed her up. Uh, I think she's going to try and move out here for a creep tumor. And yes, that is exactly what he did. And here um, we see Torch is kind of just still in his base here. He hasn't lifted this orbital. He needs to re bolster his mineral line. But he does have this expansion. I don't think uh, Liquid has any idea that expansion is there. We see he is starting to move out on this creep highway here. It will probably saturate at least this entire side of the field, I would imagine. We see this very aggressive creep tumor movement by Liquid here, moving his queen all over the place just so that he has a third queen specifically made for pooping out these creep tumors all over the place. Resting the Zergling, he did scout it out. He sees that there is no, uh, no natural yet, and that tank did 50 damage to these buildings, which is uh, probably uh, a little more than he wanted. 
Anyway, we see this Viking. He is attacking down this Overlord. And he is going to see probably all of this creeps coming up here. <clears throat> we have a bunch of roaches in the center here, some Zerglings. And in production, we got Stimpak, weapon upgrades, Zerg weapon, Zerg carapace, and another hatchery coming up. Gold expansion, another expansion into this other natural from this base. And we see that uh, he is, let's see the income tab here. 45 to 34 harvesters. That is giving him a huge, well, it probably will give him a huge reverse. And you see this knight is coming up. He did have a marauder watching it, but the, a lot of roaches were able to just come out here very easily and take out that marine. Um, his tank is going to go down for sure. He did get a roach snipe there. And yes, he, he's got to get back in there. He's got to get out of here. Definitely retreated in time. Got out of there. Good move by Richard. And uh, I think some banelings really would have helped there. If he brought some uh, maybe overlords and a baneling drop on these guys, that would have helped a lot. Uh, he just sent in a zerg. Some, he's, I think he's sending in some zerglings here to check out the area. Check out what's going on. He does have this main now. I mean this natural, excuse me. And another command center building. Plus he has this one already mining. This is some very aggressive uh, macro play by the Terran player here. You normally don't see Terran going for such a huge macro based game and it will help him in the long run as Terran can operate very easily off of two or three bases. When If he's able to get four bases that will just help his uh, income exponentially and will allow him to get a lot of those more expensive units. We do see some infestors came out. Let's check the uh, army graph there. Uh, Liquid is quite a bit ahead in the army. One sitting on 149 versus uh, torches 104, and it is a little bit more expensive. We see that there are three infestors here, um, and some roaches and some zerglings. He does not have too much. Actually, just I don't think he has any anti-air, but. Then again, Torch is really going for a ground-based army, so we are going to see a ground battle here. He is guarding uh, this creep here. He's just going to let it lay. It's not worth a sweep, probably. It's just going to waste too much energy. Um, we see the army is pretty spread out. Both sides, I think, are just teching up right now, getting as much in 